one. Joe Harris ends up being the leading scorer for the Nets with 19. He knocks down five threes in this game. Let's hear from Joe post game. Hey, Joe, we've heard the words, you know, confusing, frustrating. How would you describe what it was like for you preparing to have Kevin out there, seeing him pulled, seeing him come back and then get pulled again? Yeah, that's, I mean, it's spot on. Confusing, frustrating. I mean, it's bizarre. Right? And then for him to not start and then be able to come in, play, and then to be taken out again, it really just doesn't make any sense. Did you, did you give any thought, you know, that was his situation, but give any, any thought to what that may mean for the rest of the team from a contact tracing standpoint? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I would have said, hey, if he's, <laughs> if he's sitting for contact tracing, I mean, what the hell, he's with all of us on the court. Go to Brian Lewis with New York Post. So on a quasi-related note, I mean, when you see something like this happen, where a guy can't play and then is out there playing and then yanked off the court, does this exacerbate any concerns that players have about the whole idea of having an all-star game? I mean, that's like a whole other can of worms. I mean, it's not really my problem. Like, there's a lot of the guys that are actually all-stars I feel bad for. I mean, yeah. It's just a lot, it's a lot of stuff where it really doesn't make that much sense, but I'm not the one making the decisions. I just work here. Blake Andrews, ESPN. Hey, Joe, I mean, you don't make the decisions, you just work here. Is this one of those times, though, where you would like the NBA to kind of take some feedback on player, from players on how this feels to be put in the situation where you guys lost this game? This is a game that, as James Harden points out, it counts towards your standings and what you Oh, do. my gosh, yeah. Like, if, if for whatever reason, you know, hopefully it doesn't come to this, but say it comes down to one game later on in the season. I mean... This is, we're trying to win every game. We're trying to get find our rhythm as a team, have some continuity. And obviously, you know, there's a number of things that are out of our control. And we're trying our best to deal with everything like every other team in the league. But this instance seems a little different. It just seems a little odd to me that you're going to have a guy not, not start, come in, play whatever Kevin played, and then take him out again. I mean... It just, you know, it doesn't really make any sense at all, especially like you mentioned. I mean, these are all these are games that are important. Like we're trying to find our rhythm and, you know, hopefully it doesn't come down to it. But like, you know, every game matters and there's significance there. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Joe, I'm, I'm curious if you guys talked about this whole thing as a team in the locker room and, and what the vibe was at show. Was, was it talk more about the game or was it just on the bizarreness of this whole thing? Yeah, it wasn't really, like, um, addressed. You know, obviously it was a tough game. Um, I mean, Toronto's a good team, and they made some big plays down the stretch, but a lot of the talk was really just, you know, getting ready to move on and get ready for Philly. I mean, tomorrow night's enough, another tough game. But obviously, yeah, the frustration and all that stuff is there because now Kevin is probably going to have to – I don't know what the the rules and everything are, but I'm assuming that he's going to be the same thing that he had the last time where he had to sit for a week or whatever it was. So, you know, it just – I mean, it's tough, and it sucks for him too. I mean, the guy doesn't even have positive tests. So it's like – yeah. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Joe. Uh, I guess I do have a basketball question there. You guys turned the ball over, what, 18 times? Um, in your estimation, is that what the Raptors did? Is that carelessness with the ball, or is it a little bit of both? What did you make of how you guys took care of the ball? Yeah, I think, I mean, Toronto definitely can t turn teams over. They're an excellent defensive team. But I think a lot of it, too, it falls onto us. I mean, we're, we, that's definitely a huge hurdle for us to get over right now is turning the ball over, second chance opportunities. Um, you know, we just, you, you can't win a ton of games. I mean, we, we, we're in games because we're such an efficient offensive team, but you can't win a lot of games when, you know, they're taking 20 more shots than you are. It just puts yourself in such a difficult position. And a lot of that is turnovers and then giving up second chance opportunities.